One full authority digital engine control system, FADEC, is mounted on the fan case of each engine. The FADEC is also called the Electronic Engine Control, EEC. It is a digital control system that performs complete engine management. The FADEC has two channel redundancy, with one channel normally active and the other in standby. In the event of a single channel failure, the other channel controls the engine. The engine interface unit, EIU, transmits to the FADEC the data it uses for engine management. The FADEC controls the engine operations during start and until the engine is shut down. Additionally, the FADEC transmits the engine parameters and engine monitoring information to cockpit indicators. On this frame you can click the major functions that are provided by the FADEC to view more detailed information. The FADEC can be powered by the aircraft electrical system, but is normally self-powered by a permanent alternator whenever the engine N2 RPM is above 10%. In the event of loss of FADEC self-generated power, the aircraft electrical system provides the power. The display of the engine parameters on ECAM indicates whether or not the FADEC is powered. When the FADEC is powered, the display looks like this. When it is not powered, the display looks like this. Initially, the FADEC is powered for 5 minutes when electrical power is first applied to the aircraft. After this time period, the FADEC shuts down and is not powered. When ignition start is selected, the aircraft electrical system again powers the FADEC until the N2 exceeds 10% at which time the FADEC power is self-generated. To shut down the engine, the master switch is moved to off, and the FADEC remains self-powered until N2 RPM is below 10%. It then remains powered by the aircraft electrical system for 5 minutes. After this time period, the FADEC is depowered. A FADEC dedicated to each engine controls the thrust. Movement of the thrust levers provides signals for setting power in the manual mode, while the FMGS auto thrust provides the signals in the automatic mode. Regardless of the mode, the FADEC prevents the thrust from exceeding the limit for the thrust lever position. The engine thrust setting is made through control of the engine pressure ratio, EPER. The EPER value is computed by dividing the exhaust pressure by the inlet pressure. Note the formula for computing EPER is shown here. The FADEC has two modes of power setting. They are the EPER mode and the N1 mode. In the normal EPER mode, the FADEC controls fuel flow to set the thrust by reference to EPER. The FADEC computes the command EPER as a function of these inputs. Thrust lever angle, altitude, Mach number, ambient temperature, air inlet total temperature, and service bleed requirements. The command EPER shows on the ECAM as a white dot. If sensed or computed EPER is not available, the FADEC automatically reverts to the N1 mode. After reversion to the N1 mode, an equivalent thrust level remains set until there is a change in the thrust lever angle. When the N1 mode is active, the auto thrust control is lost. Additionally, the alpha floor protection is lost. Depending on the cause of the failure of the EPER mode, the FADEC N1 mode reverts to either the rated mode or the unrated mode. With a loss of sensed EPER, P2 and or P5, automatic reversion to the rated N1 mode occurs, and command N1 is indicated by a small white circle on the N1 indicator. The N1 thrust limit is displayed in the N1 thrust rating limit box. With a loss of computed EPER parameter, T1, 
T2 or ambient pressure engine sensor, the automatic reversion to the unrated N1 mode occurs. In this mode there is no N1 command display, nor thrust rating limit display. Click the highlighted buttons to display the reasons for reversion to either N1 mode. In review, when the N1 rated mode is active, the display of N1 and the maximum limit according to the thrust lever position is displayed. This display replaces the normal display for the EPER thrust limit mode, and the white circle appears in the maximum N1 position instead of the maximum EPER position. No limit is displayed for the N1 unrated mode. This frame shows an example of an EPER mode fault on engine 1. Notice the ECAM actions appear on the EWD. Also note that the auto thrust is off as a result of this situation. The first ECAM action is to select the N1 mode for engine 1. Now the pilot should select the N1 mode for engine 2. After both engine N1 modes are set to on, the N1 limit mode is displayed on the EWD. The pilot must manually set thrust with respect to the N1 limit. With the FADEC in either the rated or unrated N1 mode, if the failure no longer exists, switching off the engine N1 mode push button will reset the FADEC to operate in the EPER mode. Now let's answer some questions. The display of the engine parameters on ECAM indicates whether or not the FADEC is powered. When the FADEC is powered, the display looks like this. When it is not powered, the display looks like this.